Hi guys, today we're going to react to The Crusade by Love Bites. This is a buy me a coffee request from Dan W60. Thank you, Dan, for yet another request. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot, Dan. Thank you for the continued support. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. We are the bus and we play heavy First of all, it's uh, great to see Love Bites again. This has been probably the longest we've gone without a Love Bites reaction. So thanks, Dan, uh, for bringing it back. A pleasure every time. It's like, again, we've called it this before, but it is like an old friend. It's like, even though we don't know this specific song, we haven't heard it before, it feels like we know it because, you know, we know everyone involved. It's great to see Miho again. The girls are sounding great. I'm actually really loving Asami's vocals here. She's sounding great. Guitars, as always, you know, some of the best I've ever seen. Haruna on the drums, awesome. And like I said, it's good to see Miho doing her thing. She's freaking awesome. This one really like fits within the Love Bites uh, uh, discography, so to speak. You know, it's in that style, the old school kind of 70s rock metal. Love it. I particularly enjoyed how Haruna ushered in the magnificence that is Love Bites. It immediately took me back to when we reacted to Set the World on Fire. I don't know if it's the same concert, but Miho kind of gave hint that this is an older concert. I love how aloof Miyako looks when she plays the guitar. It seems that the more intricate her playing is, the more aloof she looks. It's like she's voided of reacting to her own playing. She's hyper-focused, I think.
lately, maybe we're not saying it enough. We have a lot to learn from the Japanese about music. I don't know if the mainstream uh, music industry is aware of what's coming out of Japan. I mean, I think they are, but uh, I'm hoping to see more and more of the likes of Love Bites in mainstream music. Yeah, we used to talk about it a lot more earlier on, I guess. And at some point, we just felt like, uh, like we're a bit of a broken record. when it comes to Japanese music, especially in rock and metal. But yeah, yeah, they're freaking amazing. And I don't see a reason for them not to be more popular, more recognizable and more successful worldwide. They have some success and they have some following, but it feels like the word is not out yet. Not everybody knows the name Love Bites. And they should. Just some of the best musicianship I've probably ever seen, which, which is... awesome all within itself um, their songs are great it's like they took something that obviously existed like we said 60s 70s 80s you know even 90s rock and metal all represented in their music and they make it sound fantastic and they bring back something that has been somewhat absent maybe in the last couple of decades and it's awesome to see because rock metal I mean along with grunge are probably like my, my favorite uh, musical style so it's fantastic to see bands like love bites exist. that we didn't know about. This show introduced us to them, and I think we haven't kind of uh, let up since. They might be the band that we've covered the most on the show so far, and mm-hmm. rightly so. I particularly love how each of them brings their own persona, specifically with Miyako and Midori. If you'd see it on paper, you'd think that maybe there are too many cooks in the kitchen, but they are entirely different entities playing the same instrument. Midori has her warrior pose and an entire persona around the way she plays and the way she communicates with the audience. And Miyako has her own thing as well. It begins with the music itself because they harmonize perfectly. I'm at a stage where if I listen to a Love Bites song and there's no music video, I'm just listening to it, then I'd recognize the Miyako solo from a Midori solo. Yeah, and, and it's beautiful to see that when there is a solo, the other one takes a back seat and... And just accompanies. I especially noticed it here when Midori was playing her solo and Miyako just kind of leaned back a bit and just accompanied her beautifully. I think they are of similar skill level but different styles and playing the same instrument and that's kind of where their value to the band comes in because if they were playing exactly the same style it would be redundant. You would have two guitarists playing the same and that's not the case here. They play differently, they have a different approach, a different, as you say, persona, different personality and, and each one adds something a little different to the band and I yeah. love that. And that goes aside for the different instrument that also goes for Miho at this point later with Fami and again Fami is different to Miho but she also brought a different kind of attitude and a different personality persona playing style and same goes for Asami you know with her vocals and Aruna on the drums they're just all fantastic all bring something and together they are greater than the sum of all parts and it's just amazing how good this band is if you know if we had to talk about our favorite Japanese bands and Love Bites, there would be an argument for them to sit at number one. I think they'll be talking about these bands 50 years from now. They'll be in some Hall of Fame of, of, of the world's greatest. I, th- I think we're unaware as of yet, we, we as in the world, we're unaware as of yet just how great these bands are going to be remembered. At least it'll be a crime if they wouldn't be remembered as they deserve. What you said about uh, the way they play on stage. I like to think, I actually love to think that everything we see on stage, everything we talk about that Love Bites do is rooted in the immense respect they have for each other. awesome another beautiful gem from love bites i mentioned before it reminds me the first time we reacted to to them with the set the world on fire as a personal preference i love these love bites songs i love all their songs but if i had a preference then uh then these songs are 
this is another another example for for songs that I'm absolutely in love with. I agree with you. I, I like the high energy stuff from them as well, the heavier songs. But uh, but I do also love the ballads because uh, sometimes they're just so intricate and amazing that uh, you know can't go past it. But if I had to you know do my say top ten love bite songs I've heard so far, it would be a mix. No doubt. But I'm loving the energy they bring here. And again, just seeing them on stage, the way they perform, the way they play off each other, the way they kind of play with the audience, always fantastic. I think the lyrics are promoting belief in oneself and free thinking, as opposed to being manipulated by societal conformities or religious conformities. Staying on your own path and pursuing your uh, dreams with extreme conviction. I think that's the general idea that arises from the song. It's titled The Crusade. Is It's like the, it's like your mission, your mission to, to fulfill your dreams by staying loyal to yourself and not letting obstacles uh, get in your way. I could be wrong, but that's my interpretation. It's part of it, probably. There's also something in there about uh, basically against oppression and control in a way by a society that makes you hide certain things about yourself and fake it, you know, just to pretend you belong, I guess, to fit in. There was one line there that uh, that just struck me as the song went when she said, uh, being the odd one drives me insane. So it's like she described in the, in the beginning, faking a smile, hiding truths. And when she says, pulling the trigger to lose my religion, I don't think it's necessarily about religion. It's just about your general beliefs and about who you are. And that you need to hide that not to be persecuted by others. Mm-hmm. So it's talking about breaking free and coming from the point of love and inclusion and starting a crusade to go in that way, to change the world more in that direction. My heartbeat and blood burning with love. Deep down, it's time to begin the crusade. So yeah, it's uh, it's all about being in a world where you don't agree with the status quo. You don't agree with the majority, perhaps. But a lot of the people who do agree with the majority are just really pawns or, or puppets. So yeah, yeah, it's just, it's interesting. It's uh, It's got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it's very masked in kind of a, a general kind of theme that you don't know exactly what what it's referring to but it has that kind of feel about it you know about breaking free from oppression and making a change yeah the last couple of lines there said um be true to yourself and your beliefs it's time to get up and breathe so it's really like you've been suffocated for so long by by this oppression and by people telling you what to think what to do what you're allowed to think what you're allowed to express um and that, yeah, that you should be able to do all that. And a crusade would, you know, you could have changed that to revolution or yeah. anything of that sort to basically fight to fight for your freedom, really. Break yeah, free. yeah, I agree. So, yeah, as always, an awesome performance, an awesome song from Love Bites. So thank you, Dan W60. We appreciate the support, Dan. Thank you very much for, uh, you know, for supporting us for so long and uh, and sticking with us. Much appreciated. Yeah, thanks, Dan, for requesting this song. We enjoyed, we always enjoy reacting to Love Bites. Thank you very much for this experience. Please, more like this. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me a Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. As always, around this time, our uh, link to the uh, Love Bites playlist should be coming up on the screen. So yeah, click it, take a look, see what you think, let us know. And um, as always, we appreciate all the support coming our way, guys. Uh, We'll be back in a couple of days with a new episode, and we hope to see you all then. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.